Pericalcitol is used to treat and prevent high levels of a certain natural substance made by the body, parathyroid hormone, in patients with long-term kidney disease. In these patients, the high level of parathyroid hormone is caused by a low level of calcium and a certain kind of vitamin D, too much parathyroid hormone can cause serious problems such as bone disorders. Pericalcitol is a man-made form of vitamin D. It helps to reduce parathyroid hormone levels and may help your body absorb calcium and phosphorus. You should take this medication by mouth as directed by your doctor, either once daily or three times a week. If you're taking it three times a week, don't take it more often than every other day. The dosage is based on your medical condition, lab tests, and how you respond to the treatment. It's important to use this medication regularly to get the most benefit from it. Try to take it at the same time each day to help you remember. If you're taking it on a schedule other than every day, like three times a week, it might be helpful to mark your calendar with a reminder. Following the diet recommended by your doctor is very important to get the most benefit from this medication and to prevent serious side effects. Don't take other supplements or vitamins unless your doctor tells you to. If you experience any serious side effects while taking paracalcitol, such as irregular heartbeat, seizures, weakness, loss of appetite, or pain in your back, bones, joints, or muscles, it's important to tell your doctor right away. Other serious side effects to watch out for include constipation, dry mouth, eye pain, headache, nausea, drowsiness, stomach pain, increased thirst, changes in urine output, or changes in mental or mood. Although rare, if you have a severe allergic reaction to this medication, seek immediate medical help. If you experience any other side effects not mentioned here, be sure to contact your doctor or pharmacist for advice. In the US, you can report side effects to the FDA, and in Canada, you can report them to Health Canada. Before taking paracalcitol, it's important to let your doctor or pharmacist know if you are allergic to it, other vitamin D products, or if you have any other allergies. This medication may contain inactive ingredients that could cause allergic reactions or other problems, so it's important to talk to your pharmacist for more details. Before using paracalcitol, make sure to tell your doctor or pharmacist about your medical history, especially if you have high levels of calcium or vitamin D, heart disease, or seizures. If you are planning to have surgery, be sure to inform your doctor or dentist about all the products you are using, including prescription drugs, non-prescription drugs, and herbal products. If you are pregnant, paracalcitol should only be used if clearly needed. It's important to discuss the risks and benefits with your doctor. It's not known if this medication passes into breast milk, so it's best to consult your doctor before breastfeeding. It's important to be aware that paracalcitol can interact with other medications and affect how they work in your body. This can increase the risk of serious side effects, so it's crucial to keep a list of all the products you use and share it with your doctor and pharmacist. Do not start, stop, or change the dosage of any medicines without your doctor's approval. Some products that may interact with paracalcitol include burosumab, other vitamin D products, products that contain aluminum, and corticosteroids. It's important to check the labels on all your prescription and non-prescription slash herbal products, as they may contain ingredients that interact with paracalcitol. Your pharmacist can help you use these products safely. Certain medications can decrease the absorption of vitamin D, so it's important to separate your doses of these medications from your doses of paracalcitol. This medication may also interfere with certain lab tests, so it's important to inform lab personnel and all your doctors that you are taking paracalcitol. If someone takes too much paracalcitol and has serious symptoms like passing out or trouble breathing, they should call 911. Otherwise, they should call a poison control center right away. In the US, people can call their local poison control center at 1-800-222-1222. In Canada, they can call a provincial poison control center. Symptoms of overdose may include weakness, headache, loss of appetite, nausea, vomiting, stomach cramps, and drowsiness. It's important not to share paracalcitol with others. Your doctor may also want to do some tests to check your calcium, phosphorus, and parathyroid hormone levels while you're taking this medication. Be sure to keep all of your medical and lab appointments, and consult your doctor for more information. If you forget to take a dose, just take it when you remember. But if it's almost time for your next dose, 
then just skip the one you missed and take the next one at the usual time. Don't take extra to make up for the missed dose. It's important to store paracalcitol at room temperature and away from light and moisture. Make sure to keep it out of the bathroom and away from children and pets. When you no longer need it or it has expired, be sure to properly discard it. You can ask your pharmacist or local waste disposal company for guidance on how to do this. And remember, don't flush medications down the toilet or pour them into a drain unless instructed to do so. If you need more help, call your doctor for medical advice. In the US, you call FDA, 1-800-FDA-1088. In Canada, you may call Health Canada, 1-866-234-2345. Wishing you good health. Thanks for watching.